All right. I'm feeling really good about this now. I always feel good when I always add depth um, to the painting. I'm loving that everything feels like it's gathering and moving into this center point here. It's not too centered, it's a little off center. And I love paintings that move off the page, but like keep you swirling in. So like, I love that type of movement. In my pieces, there is a small part of me that wants to continue this here. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. That looks kind of like evil. Like I don't, I don't enjoy that at all. I'm gonna fix that. And I'm actually gonna get um, that tight and buff color. And I'm gonna add some addition to this painting. And I'm also gonna put molding paste with the tight and buff. I'm gonna grab another palette knife so I don't waste time washing this one. What I feel like I'm craving in this piece is like a big swoosh. Like this is a big swoosh, but I feel like I need something bigger. And I'm almost wondering if I should use my palette as like a mechanism to like pull down. I don't know if I have like a tool big enough, so we're gonna have to improvise. Unless I use my hand, stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. I have a clean palette. I'm for sure gonna use this side of the palette to scoop up paint and press it onto my canvas. I know this is really risky because this isn't dry yet, but that's kind of what we're all about here. We're gonna experiment and I'm really excited for this. Molding paste, I'm gonna scoop up a lot of it, tight and buff, and I do have a lot of this color, so we're gonna use it. That should be good enough. Scooping up tight and buff, let's do this thing. Okay, here we are. We're gonna go back and forth and mix this. I'm so excited to just do this. I spread it out enough so that it matches the width for the most part, I'd say. This, oh my God, I'm freaking out, this is so cool. Okay, I'm fine. We're gonna scoop. Holy cow, that's a lot of paint. <laughs> See that? Let's do this. This over like so, and I'm literally gonna start it here and just press it to the edge. Oh my god, okay. And here we go. Wow, okay, that worked really well. Oh my god, I'm so happy about that. Okay, this is nice. Oh my God, yay. That's exactly what I was looking for. See how like wide this is? This is so wide and it just creates some expression that can't be made with small brushes. Wow, I'm hyped. See, you don't need the fancy stuff to make cool things happen. Just gotta improvise a little bit. I'm gonna use my palette knife to scoop this up. Okay. And we're totally dirty right now, but it's fine. Hands are white. Um, there's a little bit of white in this Titan buff, but we're gonna roll with it. I feel like I need to create a little bit more interest up here. So I'm gonna add a dab of this into this little window. That's sick. And it's really chunky, love that. I think that's what, I think I did it. Small dab there, cause you only live, live once, you know? Pretty dope. Okay. I did say that I was gonna go back in with this copper, so that's what I'm gonna do now. This is iridescent copper. Um, I'm using the golden brand of copper. You definitely don't have to use golden brand, but this is one that I recommend because it is highly pigmented and opaque. Also with us today, I have cadmium red, Naples yellow hue, which I have not used yet. Yellow oxide, cobalt blue hue, and red oxide. Going back to our iridescent copper. Going in with a smaller brush. I'm actually gonna use this little um, filbert. It's a small one. It's got a little round shaped top. And I'm just gonna go right out of the tube for this. I'm actually like dipping my paintbrush in the tube.
What's coming next is something I don't usually do. And the whole moral behind <laughs> the story here is that you guys can do hard things and you can take the chances that you're scared of because it's all a part of the process. It's all a learning experience. Even for me as a professional painter, like I'm still learning. And I think it's really cool to kind of go through my weird creative brain with you guys, just so that you can kind of understand the process behind all of it and why I make the decisions that I do. So with that being said, you can do hard things. And right now we're gonna do some hard things together, which is working with cadmium red and red oxide. So the reason that I chose these two colors is because there is a hue that's darker than this really bright saturated one. So I'm gonna layer this red oxide first and then I'm gonna put the really saturated color on top. And then you'll have, it's almost like a mustard and then we're gonna put this bright saturated mustard color on top of it. We're just gonna use them as really small accents. So this should be really fun. I'm gonna be doing the same thing with cobalt blue and light blue violet and i think they look really cool again these are primary colors so they gotta look good together right i'm hoping so stay tuned what i'm gonna start with here is this yellow oxide i think it's gonna be a really nice contrast with our navy blue that we got going on in here right here and i am going to put the naples yellow hue right next to it so woo, it came right out so you guys can see the difference. And this actually, it literally looks like mustard except less saturated. It's not really the color I wanted. So I'm gonna find another yellow. So here I have primary yellow. As you can see here, hopefully this is a little bit brighter. Oh yeah, baby. Here is our primary yellow and I'm actually just gonna mix those two together. Here's our oxide. I'm just gonna go with it here. I do want these accents to be really um, small. That's cool. I'm gonna create a little bit more unity in the painting and create the shape on this side with that same color. I think that's important. I am going to mix the yellow primary with that Naples yellow. And as you can see, it creates a hue that's a little bit lighter than this, and that's my goal. I just wanted to layer it with a color on top to give it a little bit of a pop. We're gonna do the same method that we did with yellow with our red oxide. The red oxide is a little bit more brown. As you can see, I'm not really mixing these colors. I kind of want that really raw, right out of the tube look here. We're gonna go for it. Okay, so we have our red oxide. I really kind of wanna get that primary feel. By primary feel, I want all of these primary colors to kind of work together in some way. So I'm gonna put my little accents of these colors pretty close to each other. I think I'm gonna add like a small window down here. And it kind of matches our copper, which is kind of wow, that's cool. Over here somewhere, let's see here. Hmm. I really love this section. I don't want to ruin that. Uh oh, here we go with our pink again. I don't want pink. I'm actually going to add a little bit of this oxide on top. I don't like ketchup and mustard a little bit. And I'm going to add, see how I didn't watch my brush there? Because I kind of want everything to mix into each other. Wow. I'm really excited. Okay. This sliver right here is like life changing and I feel like I need to bring that in somewhere else and go back in with my yellow oxide and create a small sliver here. That's cool. All right, moving on. I'm actually gonna wash my brush completely because I don't want any of these colors to mix together. What I 
am gonna do, um, I'm getting this like ketchup and mustard vibe right here, and I don't want that. So I'm gonna do something weird and just like go in the white with my finger and like smear this. Definitely don't like that yellow. Bad idea, bad idea. Plan B. Plan B is, I think I gotta go over it with white and head and buff. We're gonna just dab into this because I'm getting a little impatient. I think I'm gonna put this over it, this tight and buff. Move out that line a little bit. It's hard to work here now because there's already texture formed. That actually doesn't bother me at all. After much deliberation, she's finally done. A lot of texture and more swoops with my random palette <laughs> experimentation on this left side. And then I actually cut through again the entire canvas. Um, and you can see all this really cool texture. And I'm so excited to show you guys. So I am going to show you the details. Thank you so much for sticking with me for this long and for listening to all of my crazy ideas. You guys are literally the best. And um, we'll start a new painting together soon because I might do a sequel to this one because it's gonna look super good in my kitchen. Um, I'm probably gonna need another one to go along with it. So stick with me. <laughs>